Yo, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about five amazing boss meals that you can make in MapleStory New Age. In MapleStory, one of the best ways to make money is by making boss meals. And when you're making boss meals, you want these to be low effort, low cost, but also have high damage output and be easy to play. And these five boss meals on this list are exactly that. Start Starting off with number one, we're going to be talking about Marksman. This is a two minute class, so you are always bursting. This class has extremely easy nodes. It only has one trio node. And when it comes to boss mules, nodes are one of the biggest damage gains you can make. So having low and easy nodes makes a boss mule so good. This class also has a dummy that avoids a bunch of boss mechanics. Essentially, the boss will focus on the dummy, allowing you to keep high high damage uptime throughout the entire boss fight. This class has a ton of built-in IED, which is great if you have a little bit lower legion. This class also has a low amount of actual skill nodes, so you won't have any trouble leaving this at 210 as a boss meal, but in the future, you're gonna want to get it to level 220 if you plan on doing Lotus and Damien for the final damage gain on those bosses. The skills on this class also last a very long time, so they carry over from from boss to boss. Overall, Marksman is one of the best easy to play and high damage output boss mules in the game. I personally have this and I highly, highly recommend it. I know a lot of people always talk about attack speed. Do you need attack speed on marksman? Me personally, I don't think you need it. It's definitely a quality of life, but it's definitely not something that makes or breaks this class as a boss mule. I played it without attack speed. It was just as good without it as it is with it. Moving on, we have Buck. Buck is once again, one of the best boss mules in the game. This class is a one trio node class once again you want these to be extremely low node funding and buck is exactly that and it doesn't have that many skill nodes that you need to boost which means you're going to be able to fill up your matrix at a lower level the damage uptime on this class is absolutely insane it has a skill called lord of the deep that is a toggle that essentially just does non-stop damage over time the movement and survivability is top tier on this class as well well which allows you to keep up your damage uptime in bosses such as Lotus, Damien, Akechi, etc. Can get out of sticky situations easily. This class also has a 90 second burst, so you are non-stop bursting from boss to boss, which is really, really great for a boss meal. You don't want to be waiting long amounts of time to be able to burst again. And Buck's 90 second skill, Howling Fist, is great for making this boss meal extremely fast. This class is also very 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 easy to play it's essentially a one button class and you pop your burst and then just keep holding down one button there's nothing crazy to this very beginner friendly also this class's burst is an iframe which makes it that much better once again a buck is a great boss mule it has low node requirement it does a ton of damage it does crazy damage over time great survivability highly recommend buck as a bossy mule moving on we have hero on this list once again you guys are gonna see a pattern this class is a one trio node class which is great for a boss mule this is also a two minute class so you are always bursting making sure you're getting these bosses done quick that's always one thing to keep in mind as a boss mule you don't want to be waiting from boss to boss to burst again you want to be bursting non-stop this class also does have a dash that avoids mechanics such as Lotus Push. Hero does have short cooldown iframes, which is great for PAP lasers, Akechi, and so much more. The damage on this class is absolutely amazing. And once again, this is a low node class. You don't gotta put that much funding into this class to make it great. Highly, highly, highly recommend Hero. And once again, there is a little bit of speculation when it comes to Hero. Should I make it because it needs attack speed plus one? I don't think it makes that much of a difference. I think it's just as good without attack speed as it is with it. It definitely is a quality of life and makes the experience of playing this class that much better. 
if you have a tax speed but if you're not at that point where you can afford getting it on the inner ability don't sweat it this class is still great as a boss mule moving on we have a wind archer wind archer i think is one of the best boss mules in the game this is definitely a boss mule you want to have in your arsenal this class has a dummy to avoid boss mechanics which i think is one of the greatest things to have in a boss mule this dummy works the exact same as marksman's the boss will focus on that dummy allowing you to do max damage uptime on the boss when nurture you can also get away with having one single trio this class is non-stop bursting with its rejuvenating tornadoes and it also has a ton of low cooldown skills this class also does have a dash and has a great kit has a skill called gale barrier which essentially avoids all boss mechanics great for lotus lasers i love this class it was one of my favorite boss mules when i first started out it's a, once again a low node requirement boss mule and this goes with the rest of the boss mules on this list you pretty much unlock every skill that you need and some at level 220 you don't gotta worry about paying extra for more node slots you have it all at 220 wind archer 10 out of 10 boss mule highly recommend it the dummy cheeses every boss makes bossing extremely chill relaxing don't gotta sweat i love wind archer as a boss mule moving on last on this list we have bow master again it's following the same trend this is a one trio node class as well for a boss mule this is very very easy to play you just press all of your burst buttons and then hold down hurricane this class also does have built in se which is a plus when it comes to bossing mules you're not gonna have to waste any node slots using se you just have it built into this class this has great survivability this is also a two minute class so you are always bursting from boss to boss this burst also lasts a very long time so it's going to be carrying over from boss to boss very useful as a boss view this class also has a teleporter that can avoid a ton of boss mechanics this is very helpful in situations like lotus p1 laser you just put your teleporter in the middle wait for the laser teleport back and do this to avoid the push as well when it pushes you you just use your teleporter get behind it same thing rinse and repeat bowmaster is a very 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 good boss mule highly recommend this class now that concludes these top five boss mules to make in maple story new age if you guys have these classes let me know how you like them if there was something that you think should have been added on this list let me know down in the comments below i know these classes are very mainstream boss mules but there's a reason for it they fit the meta perfectly especially as a lomian boss mule they're great low prio one trio when it comes to boss mules you do not want to invest a ton of nodes into your boss mule and all of these are very node friendly we have in-depth videos on each and every one of these boss mules which those will be linked in the description down below if you need more information it goes over the nodes how to burst everything in between so go check those out if you need more information anyways that's gonna wrap up today's video i hope you guys did enjoy and as always i'll see you guys in the next one peace